Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this is going to be the start of a series where I give some advice about interviewing, uh, which is a fairly <laughs> common occurrence in software engineering. Uh, but this will be the first of those videos. And in this one, we're going to talk about what programming language should I interview for? And this is a bit of a tricky question and one that um, you know, I've made this mistake in the past, but also I've seen a lot of people that I interview make this same mistake as well. And that is um, picking a language based on where you're interviewing at. Um, I'll give you an example of, of one mistake that I made in this, in this particular space. Um, I was interviewing at a company that was well known publicly as a Java shop. And I had written some Java at that point, but it was definitely not my strongest programming language. And when I went to interview there and they asked me to oh, implement this you know, leak code problem or whatever, I started writing it in Java because I wanted to impress the employer that I knew the language that they were using. Um, but my Java was pretty rusty. I was not so great at Java and it showed throughout my interview. I made lots of mistakes. I had to, you know, some basic things that I should have known, like the back of my hand, uh, I didn't and you know as as a consequence i did much less <laughs> much much more poorly in that interview still passed it but it was not as good as i could have been in that in that situation and so my advice my general advice here is if you're interviewing at a company you don't care what programming language they use primarily use whatever language you are the most comfortable with and um if you aren't comfortable in any programming language, you should get good at at least one programming language uh, and use that when you're interviewing. So even if you're interviewing at like a Ruby shop and your strongest language is PHP, like work in PHP. Uh, for me, it's currently Python and you know wherever I interview, I use Python. Um, now, I did say PHP earlier. I would recommend picking a language that's fairly common and that your interviewer would know. So like I wouldn't recommend interviewing in Lisp. I probably also wouldn't recommend interviewing in PHP, um, but picking something like JavaScript or Python or Go or C++ or Java or some common programming language that's fairly well known or you know fairly straightforward in its implementation, um, pick that and go with it. The other thing is when you're interviewing, you may also write test cases for your interview. So I would also recommend knowing the test framework that's popular for your programming language. So in, in my case, like in Python, I would use PyTest to do something. Um, in Java, I might use JUnit or, <laughs> I don't remember which one's the popular one in JavaScript because they change so often. Um, but yeah, pick pick one that you know and, and stick to that. Now there is an exception to this overall rule that I'm talking about where you should pick a particular programming language. And that is if you are interviewing for a particular role that requires you to know a particular programming language. For instance, if I'm interviewing for an iOS developer role, I better know Swift and at least be functional in, an, in Objective-C. If I'm interviewing for a Python infrastructure role, I should probably know Python. And in those cases, I would recommend like you know interviewing in the language that you're targeting. Or if you know if you're not qualified for that, then don't interview for that role. That's you know, another option as well. But yeah, I've seen way too many people that try and impress their interviewer by picking a language. And to be honest, the interviewer doesn't care what language you're in, you're interviewing in. They're just looking for competency in a programming language. And uh, you know you can interview at any place, you know, independent of what they what language they use. And the expectation is that you'll be able to adapt your existing programming language knowledge to learn a new language as part of onboarding into that uh, company. And you know most programming languages are fairly similar, so it's easy to translate your knowledge from one language to another. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is helpful advice. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.